So, I've been thinking about making a 3D printed version of the BBC TV version of Marvin, the paranoid robot, to go along with my uh, movie version. But, uh, I'll put a link to down below in case you haven't watched the uh, Walking Talking and Lit Marvin that's 3D printed from the movie. So, uh, I started by searching the internet trying to find any uh, STL files, 3D files, that someone might have already made of the robot that I could then modify because obviously I want mine to walk and light up and do mechanical things and uh, these are just some images of the of the TV version and after searching for more than a day I didn't find anything worthwhile that already existed it, so I changed my search and I went to a Sketchfab and this is basically let me say these aren't physical. This is digital artwork. It really only exists in a computer. Um, I guess you could probably take any image, like a screenshot, and print it on paper, but uh, it's not physical. And the type of files that are some sort of image file. But anyway, this was the best one that I could find, and it's uh Binkley Space Trucker 3D model. So I wanted to look at it and somewhere on here it says more model information. Here we go. So Polygon file format. So the main file is a polygon file format. So then I went online and did a search to see if there was some way to change the polygon file format, which is called a PLY for whatever reason, into an STL. And I actually found uh, an online uh, site that would change that to that. So I changed it to an STL. And then the, the problem that happens is, um, let's get the image back down where we can see it is the STL file that it makes is basically just the skin outline of it. It's not solid. It's uh, not watertight as I like to call. So it's actually not printable as is. You need to then somehow change it to a solid. And once it's a solid then I can cut it up into various pieces, modify the pieces, hollow them, do whatever I want to do, and uh, hopefully turn it into a walking robot that we can all 3D print should we choose to. And here is the result of that. This is an STL file of that uh, PLY file. And for the most part I found I can cut this up, meaning that I could remove the legs, I could remove the arms, I could remove the head, then I could work on each one of these components individually in the body. I could hollow it out so I could get my mechanics in there and everything. Um, I wasn't going to keep the legs spread like this. It really needs that to stand. And if you take the, the, the Y out of the legs and run them straight up and down, it's going to be too tippy. So I knew I'm going to have to make some changes to the feet. I'm going to have to make the feet larger because when if they came straight down as the costume uh, showed if I still got that file here see they basically touch and the feet kind of bang together in real life and so it would also in uh, in this file if they were straightened and everything was scaled right so what I'm working with right now is slicing it all up trying to figure out what scale I need to print the parts at in order to get um, three AAA batteries in the back. I want to open this up and put a battery holder there and put a switch here and I still have to get the motor in here so I'll be using one of the N20 dual shafts which I have on order but they haven't come yet and um, as far as these little triangular eyes that rivets aren't the eyes if you watch the show I'm going to hollow those out and put a color changing LED inside the head aiming back. Maybe line the inside of the head with aluminum foil so the light will bounce out the eye slits and change. That'd be kind of nice. I'll probably just make the arms poseable because I 
Unless I make this a really big model, it would be hard to get mechanics up to the arms and to the legs. So that's where the project's at right now. We'll just call this part one, which was finding uh, digital artwork so I wouldn't have to start from square one, turning it into a file format that I can work with, which I have done, and now the fun begins, figuring out the scale, slicing it up, and modifying it. So hopefully in the next video, We'll have some uh, progress on this.